that. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm John Miglosh for the Wisconsin DMA and the International Society for Strategic Marketing. Yes, I got some sun last night, so I look a little tan. I mean, yesterday, last night. Yesterday, went out on the golf course and uh, was pre-recorded. <laughs> and somebody called <laughs> and said they really liked it. Uh, and I said, oh, I'm out on the golf course. <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, I'm tricky. I'm tricksy. Anyway, so uh, here, you know, I... What it really says is I don't really look at the screen uh, and get your comments very often anyway, so I'll try to do better. So comment, send some hearts, and maybe I will pay attention. There's a heart. I see it. Yes. There's another one. Okay. Thank you for the hearts. Okay. So let's dig in and see what we've got going. And I, I've run across this news item package, sort of, uh, for months, and I've never tried it, and I decided to just dive in. Marketing Week has this little consumer con has this little five interesting stats to start your week and they do it on Mondays and I missed it cuz it was um it was cuz I was doing it Sunday night so it wasn't there so today I saw it. And uh it's really nice. I could do my whole show from this. Here's a funny one. Influencers, that's the people who are talking on like this, okay? Now let's say I had a product that I really liked and I uh, like my bent glasses or maybe my cowbell. Okay, I doubt it. But anyway, <laughs> and I can make claims. You know, that cowbell will help you sleep. If you ring it all day, ten times a day, you'll sleep better. Let's just say. <laughs> you know, influencers can make totally <laughs> unfounded claims. And... Uh, <coughs> for products that maybe aren't exactly as they sound. And so, consequently, wherefore thereupon, um, that's where the complaints come. One in four, 25%. That's pretty amazing compared to advertising, which I think is more audited um, and accountable. Tells you something about social media. Online retail sales, with the emphasis on the word online, Growth hits a 12-year high, you know, which is about when they started measuring back in 2009 or 2008. That's really where they started measuring most of that stuff. That's where they online advertising. So that's way up, and that's not a big surprise. Consumer confidence, and this is the UK, hits decade low, and that's not a big surprise, although it seems to be coming back in the United States. Woo hoo <laughs> I don't know what's happening today. I should go look. I'm, you know, getting... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I look like a genius. That's what my son-in-law said. He says, you look like a genius. Well, you know, I bought in mid-March because I was confident that the confidence would come back. So I'm still confident of that. Um, car sales slumped 90% to the lowest in 1952, which says to me, time to go buy a car. You might get a deal finally. I was amazed in the recession of 2008 and nine that the car prices didn't really come down at all. It's like they didn't want to sell cars, you know. But I'm guessing that they might now. Um, who knows? Majority of consumers are using more local stores during the lockdown. Partly because, you know, they wanted to get delivery. Um, but that's a good trend. I think that's pretty happy. You know, right? That's a good one. And that's it for that news source. Okay. Um, here's one from... Um, no, it doesn't say who it's from. I think that's Market Market Week also. But anyway, they do... They do um, surveys and you have to pay extra to get the answer but they do show you the first graph which i think is the main point uh and what people said in the in how should people respond to black lives matter uh, conversation and the first one was encourage people to vote now i always vote i always have i don't think i've ever missed one election even the local stuff and you know school board and stuff um not as far as i know but you know i might have missed one but anyway uh, I know the people at the at the at the polls that we say hello and catch up a little bit, and uh, so I'm all in on that one. Go vote, right? And uh, and then the the second one, which I thought was even more kind of interesting, have your executives speak up for change. I, you know, I don't know if that's helpful or not. Man, my hair looks crazy today. I got on the motorcycle. Okay, commit diverse hires in their own company okay and 
You know, that one's a little scary because there is a, an element of reverse discrimination, you know, to white guys. Um, and they say, well, you deserve it because look at all the privilege you had. Well, I don't know about that. I guess so. I know I have had a privileged life. I had a dad and a mom stayed together life all through life. Uh, and the sad part is that's what that's the main economic predictor is having a mom and a dad. So if you're married, stay married. If you have kids, for sure stay married. Work it out. You know, the hot other person is probably no better once you get to know them well. And you're not that great either. So stay married. That's that's privilege. Okay? Hang on to your family. Lay down your life for your family. At Orthodox weddings we we sing hymns about martyrdom. Martyrdom is where people die for their faith. Because marriage is martyrdom. And if you get that in your head, you'll do better. Okay? Donate to causes, thirty six percent, which isn't a very high percentage, really. And 34% says share links and petitions for followers to take action. Okay, you know, but I, you know, my tennis shoe company, I I do buy top siders. I have a brand of shoes I actually buy quite quite a bit. Um, and if they did that, I don't think I'd care one way or the other. But on that note, let's go on and see. Here's it was an interesting story. Um, Reddit's board co-founder is stepping down from the board of directors. And, of course, you know, they got probably has plenty of money and plenty of influence and plenty of other things to do. And that happens along the way. But he's been very active. But, you know, the sad part is, is that while his photo on a leadership page is um, misleading, his photo, you know, because I didn't know. I saw, originally I saw this story with just his picture. I didn't know he was married to Serena Williams, you know. And, uh... And I, you know, I admire Serena a lot and her dad a lot, her dad a lot, lot, okay? You know, he saw that tennis was something that was not utilized and there were tennis courts in the park that nobody was playing on. And he thought, I'm going to teach my little girls how to play. Man, God bless that guy, right? Anyway, this is the kind of guy we need on boards of directors, to be honest. Maybe he'll go on something else. Um, we need people who have diverse opinions, that's more important than the color of your skin. You can appoint somebody who, who you know, is not helpful to Reddit if you're not careful. You want really quality people who have diverse opinions. You know, you might even try some old white guys. They might have some opinions that you're not comfortable with. But anyway, you know, so good for him. And um, if Reddit was one of those one of those sites where you looked at the leadership page and said, oh, they're all white, well. Not really. Here was an interesting one. Media post. Black is beautiful craft beer brewed to help promote racial justice. Now, you know, I my cousin used to work at Miller in marketing, and he said, you know, anybody can brew any beer style that you want to brew. It's not hard to, to mimic popular styles. The problem is always marketing. So good for this, you know. Uh, an African-American head brewer is launching a new beer, and it's dark, dark beer, which I kind of like if it's not too bitter. I don't like that hoppy, icky, ugh, you know, and Guinness in the United States, I don't like it all, but Guinness in Dublin, if he could make Guinness, and that's really dark, if he could make Guinness knockoff in America and really make it fresh and make it good, I'd be all in for that because I care about what a beer tastes like. I don't really care that much about their stance. I drink Yingling, and I also drink Spotted Cow. <laughs> and the founders of Spotted Cow are two women who were, were big fans of President Obama and visited the Obama White House. But I drink it. It's good beer. And Yingling is too, and they're very conservative. So I'd say, for the sake of America, drink a variety of beer. And here's one that may be available coming to your, uh, your town. Okay, this was a really interesting thing, and I'll give you a demo on it. There's a new app. It's not really new, but it got popular during the, during the protests. What I did was Periscope, which I'm on right now. Periscope has a, uh, on the phone, not on the web, but on the phone, you can go on your phone, and you can click the little globe, and you can see where the, where the, where the uh, 
where the videos are coming from. And so I went into Minneapolis on Saturday night to see how things were going because I got four kids up there in Minneapolis and I care a lot about how it's going and they all live in the city proper of Minneapolis. And uh, so I wanted to know what was up and there wasn't much and you know the, the, the Periscope live streamers were walking around talking about stuff and you know showing cars going by and there wasn't anything really happening which was good I was relieved but this app is is more interesting because it it tracks like the police calls and stuff so let's go over and see it just for hoots and uh, it's asking to log in but if you hit refresh it will let you it will let you peek at this and here's New York City and uh, it it's because of the way the screen is shaped. It doesn't isn't giving me anything. Here's a man shot in Flatbush, four in dispute. But here are protesters gathered on Union and Grand Army. Here's protesters, Brooklyn Bridge, City Hall, <coughs> subway station. I think that was all the protests I found in New York. Okay? Yeah. Uh, that's it. So, um... Yeah, so that's it. So then I went over to Minneapolis. And that, and this isn't necessarily, this could be last night. It could be a while ago. If you click on the story, you get the story. Here's Minneapolis, which, uh, to put in perspective, I thought was kind of funny. Um, Minneapolis, uh, shots detected, man exposing himself, report a vehicle on fire, fired Uncle Hugo's, two women fighting, it's a little different, and I couldn't find any protests, but there was a moment of silence in downtown Minneapolis. Uh, so Minneapolis is a little more quiet than New York City at the moment, and thank heaven for that. So I just wanted to tell you, you can download this app, Citizen, and so you can tell where the protests are on any given night, and I did, again, I used... I used um, Periscope for that. I also use it in Milwaukee because my daughter lives in Milwaukee proper. So if you want to, if you want to know if they're nearby and you should go get a beer in the suburbs, uh, you can find that out. Or if you want to join in, you can use that too. Have a great day. I'm John Miglosh. Like and share. Your friends will think you're smart. Bye bye.